Danielle's boyfriend, Justin, has taken away all her self-esteem and desire to do better. Before she met Justin, she was a talented hula hoop performer and had a lot of potential. Thanks to Justin, Danielle has nothing. Justin is 110% a narcissist. Justin is verbally, emotionally, financially, and physically abusive to my daughter. Danielle admitted to me that Justin punched her in the face and gave her a black eye. Justin has called her a whore, loser, a slut, bitch. He's controlling. He's a sexual deviant. Justin lies to Danielle about anything and everything. If his lips are moving, he's lying. He told me he was the CEO of a music production company which doesn't produce anything. Justin does use Bible scripture and her faith to manipulate Danielle. He claims that God speaks to him and that's the direction that they should go in. I just thought he was delusional. There's no way God would ever speak to that boy. My daughter Danielle is stuck in a loop. She can't move on from her relationship with Justin, even though it's volatile and dangerous. The first time that Justin and Danielle came to visit our home, I noticed he could be abusive. One time, when I was visiting Danielle, I got to their apartment, the first thing I saw was that there was no bathroom door. It was just destroyed. I was really scared for my daughter. I called 911. You said I come home very soon and it's gonna be really bad. <laughs> okay, okay, you take a deep breath. And you have choked her out to unconsciousness in the band. Danielle thinks that she's so in love with Justin that she's willing to just dismiss his horrific behavior. I think Danielle is showing signs of Stockholm Syndrome because if I say anything negative against Justin, she gets really angry with me. Justin is a criminal and I have major concerns about my daughter's safety. Recently, Justin was arrested for burglary and assault. He has history of battery, domestic battery. He's got a list of charges right now that he's in court for. Justin also lies to Danielle about what he's doing because he cheats on her. Danielle and Justin had a quick breakup and he went right to another woman. We convinced Danielle to come home and when she came home, Danielle looked like a dog that had been beat too much, like a refugee. Danielle was in a bad place. I truly believe that if Danielle doesn't get away from Justin, she will die by his hand. Okay, let's just jump right into this, all right? Sure. Now, for argument's sake, let's say everything you just said is exactly right. How did this happen to this beautiful young woman you raised? That's what we don't understand. That's well, you why. were there, though. You raised her. Um, you know what? We trusted her. We trusted her to go out and graduate college and seek her dream. And we were there via phone. You know, she wanted to travel down to New Orleans to make a go with her brother. That was right. also down there, so we felt great about that. Her brother was down there. Did you role model her. low self-esteem? Myself? Uh -huh. No. D no. Did you? No. We, we, we have a lot of confidence in our, in our daughter. She, she's, a, she's a leader. She's somebody who's not afraid to conquer anything until she met Justin. You guys have no clue, no insight. You wouldn't have predicted this. You weren't afraid of it. You, you didn't see this coming. Not at all. No. Total blindside. Blindsided. Blindsided.